approaching Stratford. Please change here for London Underground, Docklands Light Railway, and other mainline services. Please remember to collect all your personal belongings when leaving the train. Bow to his superiority, Mulford wins the goal! Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt, storming story, takes it again! Glory, a gold medal for Great Britain, a gold medal for Jessica Rennes. Presenting Great Britain, Anthony Joshua! The London 2012 Olympic Games showcased some of the finest moments in sporting history. It was a three week period like no other which unified us as British citizens to cheer on our country's best sports people. With the likes of Jessica Ennis, Mo Farrell and Greg Rutherford all winning the prestigious Olympic gold medal, an astonishing legacy was left leaving a generation inspired. But has the legacy of the Games continued? London 2012 bronze and Rio 2016 double Olympic gymnastics champion Max Whitlock gave us his thoughts. Uh, I'm Max Whitlock and just become double Olympic champion. Max is the most successful gymnast in British history and recently became Great Britain's first Olympic gymnastics champion at the Rio 2016 Games. Within the space of one hour he took gold in the floor and the pommel event, something that he could have only dreamt of. Max exceeded all expectations and is now a role model for all budding gymnasts and athletes across the country. Uh, I think I think everyone's played their part. There's a lot of people out there who are doing all they can to keep it going. And I think uh, Rio wouldn't have been what it was if we didn't have London 2012. You know, in away games you can never tell what it's going to be like. Um, but that done a lot, a lot more than even London did. Um, ten times over for the recognition of sport, um, getting people watching and everything like that. So I think when you look back to what they've done to keep London going, they definitely have, otherwise the surge wouldn't be there Rio. So they've done a, an amazing job. We went to Lillishaw National Sports Centre, the home of British trampoline gymnastics, and spoke to Rio 2016 Olympian and silver medalist Bryony Page. Hi, I'm Bryony Page, Olympic silver medalist for trampoline in Rio. Bryony is the first British trampoline gymnast to win an Olympic medal, which is an amazing achievement not only for herself, but for British trampoline gymnastics as well. She gave her opinion on the London Olympic legacy, participation levels, and how the games inspire people to get involved in sport. A lot of people, like younger people, have been inspired by the games, but also older, um, like adults, they've been wanting to get involved in sport and maybe um, participating or coaching. So I think it has definitely left a legacy, um, but I think it's something we also need to work on post these games um, because still participate, participation levels are still like lower than what we want so I think there is some work to be done but it's definitely left a legacy of people feeling inspired and motivated and, and just proud of, of Team GB and, and the fact that you know we're a dominating uh, country in sport um, and I think that's got people inspired to, to take up sport. Kart racing is a fast paced and electrifying motorsport which is not government funded nor in the Olympic Games. But it's just one of many sports which don't receive the same attention of those which are in the Olympics. Hi, my name's Gus Lawrence and I do kart racing. Non Olympic and sports which are not funded by the government either rely on families to self fund or sponsors which are extremely difficult to come by. And since the London 2012 Olympic Games, it makes you question whether the government have done enough or need to do more to support these types of sports. Amateur kart racer Gus Lawrence gave his views on the subject. The government seems to help out more with those type of sports than it does with my sport, kart racing. The government hasn't really dipped into kart racing yet. It's not very. It's one of those sports. It's not really well known across the country. Like people don't really know specifically what it is. Um, but I, could, I think the government, if the government helps out especially for the British kids, if the government supported them more, the British kids would be better and compete at a higher level across the world. At the Billericay School in Essex, they have been fortunate enough to build 3G Ash Turf pitches on the school field. By doing so, it has dramatically increased the participation in sport at the school, as well as the surrounding areas, due to the clubs and six aside football tournaments, which are run weekly and attract many people of all different ages. The idea to build the 3G pitches first stemmed from the London Olympics and the motivation it gave the school pupils to become more active. Rosa Bahari, a PE teacher at the Billericay School, explains. The Olympics, obviously, the children are watching their role models, 
potentially. Some of them have become new role models, the sportsmen, the Olympians that are actually there. Um, and as a result of that, it increases participation. And as a result and a direct consequence of that, the 3G pitch, um, you know, the school notes that 3G pitch was built. And as a result, obviously that increases participation. Again, it gets used pretty much 24 hours a day. Okay. Um, the sports centre use it after six o'clock. We're on it all day, so you know it's only at night that it's not in use. Um, it's just a fantastic facility.